Hello everybody and welcome to YouTube. I am Ethel Red Flametail and today I'm going to be reviewing SCP Foundation. So, the, uh, what they call it, uh, the SCP Containment Bridge game. Yes, is uh, what they call it, a game like no other and... and right, what's happening? There is, down on the ground, I've located... Um, can't I do my review? All the Zarks has escort you back to Site 19, but we can't see any bother letting you finish your review off. Yes, I can do my review. Okay. I'll do my review, then I'll go with you. Well, that was a weird, interesting thing. Anyway, back to the review. So, you wake up in a bed, sometimes hearing a gunshot, and you are a player known as D-Class. More precisely, you are playing as D9341. Quite the crafty little D-Class, but we'll get to that later. A guard comes out and uh, escorts you out, and I kid you not, on the opening, there are so many different ways to die, and we're not even in the meat of this game yet. You can stay in your cell and die. You can be disobedient with the guards and die. You can look at the human statue, SCP-173, at the beginning and die. Don't follow orders and you'll die. Die? My gosh, there's a lot of ways that you can die in this. Just at the opening. So, you get led down laboratory, and nothing goes wrong in a laboratory. You are then tasked to look at SCP. 173 for testing and I don't like this. I don't like the look of this. Oh, I really don't like the look of this. SCP 173 is the first SCP that you encounter, and boy, this thing is creepy. It's basically based on the Weeping Angels from Doctor Who. You see that eye meter down there? That's your blinking mechanic. So every time you blink, 173 draws near. Every time that you turn around, 173 draws near. You could literally have the whole game with just SCP-173 and the game would be still scary. Oh yeah, 173 will snap your neck. Just thought I'd mention that. There's also a lot of other SCPs that you have to watch out for as well, not just 173. Remember, there's multiple SCP containment breaches. SCP-0479, or known as the Plague Doctor, will stalk you throughout the halls, but can't go through walls or teleport, which is a good thing. Though if the Plague Doctor touches you without a certain SCP, you will die, and you will be turned into a zombie. One oh six. Is the old, or as is known as the old man, stalks you throughout the halls, but can be stopped through the um, foundation security by Teslas. If he catches you, he will put you in his pocket dimension, or he may kill you. Though once in his pocket dimension, death is no option. It is pretty much a certain. Not all SCPs will kill you. Some of them are quite uh, good. Take for example SCP-914. This new mechanic adds a depth of crafting. Crafting something in from one thing to very fine 
and crafting it into a better thing like having a normal level 2 card and turning it eventually into an omni card the machine sometimes can be a prankster so watch out with that one uh oh punch down trees craft an axe and build a shelter also, listen to the music because this really sets the tone perfectly. You really feel like you're alone in the facility with different changes of music. That until Ninetale Fox comes. Ugh. There's so much horror elements used in this one game. It's just fascinating night vision goggles. Ma gas masks, certain items that help you to go into other things. You, the horror just keeps on changing. It's classic. Oh, by the way, this one Russian guy has gone over everybody's back just to um, trademark the SCP Foundation. He, the word needs to be spread out, you know who he is, but we should not stand for it. I do believe you're just stalling for time. Of course I'm stalling for time. You're going to take me away after this review. thing that this game does have, which isn't an SCP, are those Tesselas. I despise them. You are going to love the clipboard. Basically you can hold anything card related or paper related. And believe me, you're going to find a lot of paper in this game. And the whole foundation is just littered with Duracell batteries. I mean, come on, uh, what they call it? I didn't know the Foundation and Duracell worked together. There's a few rooms that creep me out, this being one of them. You have to go in and press a button while one uh, uh, door closes and another door opens. But imagine that with SCP-173. Funny enough, there's also a few tasks for you to do here and there, but your main task is really getting out of the facility. Once you've done whatever it is you need to do, you can then take the elevator to the top. And yes, it's a beautiful day at the top of the facility. And funny enough, this isn't the first ending. Oh no no no, there are several endings to this game. This just being the ending where you die. You've done your review, now move out. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I've been Etherred Flametail signing off. That's it, take it nice and slowly. I hope this place has Chinese because I don't mind fancy Chinese. Yeah.